Oh, this is lovely, Jay. I thought it'd be nice for us to do something together. Just the two of us, you know. Mary, Jerry, you're not allowed to smoke in this place. Can you believe that? It's barbaric. Sarah, what are you doing here? Mary said you were having a wee night to yourself, so I thought you might want some company. Why? W why would you think that? Sarah! Ah, himself as well, is it? Great. Sweet Jesus. Hiya, how are ye? I don't let you smoke in here, Kieran. Can you credit it? This is a nice surprise. When Sarah asked me to the cinema, I thought, well, I thought she meant just the two of us. No, Kieran, because that would be, what's the word now? Normal. Double date it is then, so. Wonder what's keeping Daddy. Excuse me? I've got the tickets. We haven't decided what we want to see yet, Dad. Uh. Well, I like the look of that one with all the lads in the lineup. It's got your man in it, the farmer from Glenrow. What, Gabriel Byrne? He's done a fair bit since Glenrow and Elle. Well, who are you? His agent? Dad, I don't understand this. You hate the cinema. Oh, not since I discovered it's the only way I can spend time with our column. It's the one place the boring bastard doesn't talk. But Colm's not here, is he, Da? Da? And that's not to say now that in my younger years I didn't enjoy a uh, boiled sweet. But then I heard tell of a fella from Ballina Hinch. What was it his name was now? I had it there a minute ago. Ah, it'll come to me. Anyway, this Ballina Hinch lad, and as I say, his name escapes me, but he was mad keen on the boiled sweets. Sure, he couldn't get enough of them, but in the end, well, didn't he choke to death on one? A pear drop, I think it was. Or a clove rock, maybe, but either way, it's not how I'd want to go. I know, love. I know. Well, isn't this romantic? Long fella's nothing but a flight bastard. Don't you be trusting him? I just want to check. Does your father think that they can hear him? Shh. Apologies, folks. We've just had a wee security alert there. I'm afraid we're going to have to carry out a wee evacuation. So if you'll all follow me. Lovely. Great stuff. That's the last time I let you organize a night out. OK, then. What about this Kaiser Soze, fella? These guys are so sick. Exactly. I never slept a wink last night, you know. Me either. Guys are so sick. No, I went to bed with me roller since sure it's always a nightmare. Then why do you do it? I've no volume with the route, Mary. What choice do you have? No, I'm leaning toward Pete Postlethwaite now. It wasn't Pete Postlethwaite, Dad. It's never Pete Postlethwaite. Look, this is driving me to distraction. We'll have to go back tonight. It's not in the listings anymore, love. What? The cinema stopped showing it. Oh, well done. It's not my fault. Ah, sure nothing ever is. Well, what are we going to do? Wait for them to release it on video. I can't, Jerry. I can't go on like this. We need to know. Well, that's us away. Where's your socks, love? They're just not for me, Mammy. I'm sorry. You'll be fine, dude. I know what I'm doing. Have a great day, everyone. What are you in such a good mood about? Just, you know, life. You're up to something, and I get to the bottom of it. Honest to God, Aaron, between you and Kaiser Soze, my head has turned. Who's Kaiser Soze? God almighty. Oh. Cheers. Carpe diem. Carpe dickhead. <laughs> well, I guess we never knew who the real Mr. Brin was. But like Kaiser Soze. Fellow with the bad leg. What? Kaiser Soze. He was the fellow with the bad leg. He was talking absolute shite the whole time. He was one of those, uh, what you call it, unreliable narrators. Well, that's very clever. Yeah, I thought so too. Look this way, girls. 